Ladies and gentlemen, I am appearing in the center of your screen, and we know what that means. First of all, you beautiful people are watching this video, so thank you for that. And second of all, of course, I am going to be doing some artifact enhancements. So, we do actually have the artifact enhancement event live for the fusion. Uh, there's some okay rewards in here. Mainly just focused, obviously, on getting the rare champion here at 4,700 points. These used to be epic books and some, like, soul shards or something like that, but now we just got some kind of trashy rewards. This energy is going to go quite nice to try and help me finish off the Dungeon Divers, though, which is ending here soon. And I'm still not close to it, so i got to get that done. And I suppose if you want to go really hard, you could get the Prism Crystals for that, too. Anyways, we're going to hop in. We're going to do some rolling here. We're going to see what we can make happen. Let's go ahead and, first of all, do the El Classic make sure that we don't have any flat stat pieces here so these are our flat stats so far this one if I recall correctly it did have a good speed roll on it so I wanted to see if it would hit anything crazy uh, it dodges speed in its entirety though so that is going to be a sell this one I was curious to see if I could get an insane resistance roll out of it which is not gonna happen so that's also a sell this one I was hoping for a triple roll does not happen that's gonna be a sell uh, this one is just straight up a cell, I think. I don't know why I kept that. So boom, 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 boom. I think this one is also not that good, but I am keeping it because I'm low on stone skin. This one's a five star piece, not really interested in keeping that. Uh, we got some really good sub stats on this one. This is a merciless boot, so obviously a pretty high value set. This just absolutely kills me though. Like. Look how good these substats are. If only the main stat was like, I'd honestly take flat attack here and then attack main stat. Like, it's even rolling well, man. You know what? Screw it. We're going to go to 16, hope for a triple roll. If we get the tri Okay, we get a double and a double. I have a few chaos ores sitting around. We're going to go ahead and rework it. Boom. Attack percentage, attack, crit rate, speed, resistance. That's still a good piece, though. You know what? I'll take it. That is a good, good piece. Just for the hell of it. We're going to go ahead, hit the ascension, what do we, Oh, defense percentage, I will take this though, so if this was like crit damage or something like that, that would have been literally a perfect piece, but you know what, I'll still get use out of that, so it's okay. This one I'm going to roll to 12, it's a 1-1-1, one, one, and one. I honestly can't justify uh, re-rolling that. This is a 5 star, and I think I do have some 5 star chaos ores, again, and 1-1-1 one, one, and one, though. This one, same kind of thing, it is a six star, so we're just gonna see if it goes a triple. And I think we will probably go ahead and re-roll this, just because, ah, uh, that, that is a very decent roll on speed, though. But it is a merciless set, and I'm probably not gonna use even the triple roll in speed unless the main stat is better. So defense, speed, accuracy, and resistance. I will keep that, honestly. Um, just because I can get some use out of that, so we'll sell that stuff. Last piece is this right here. Let's see if we can get some quad rolls or something here. Nothing quite like that yet. All right, perfect. We are through those pieces. Next, we're going to filter by just new and see what we got going on here. There's a lot more new pieces than this. I don't know where they are at exactly, but this is a five star. We're hoping for a speed roll here really more than anything doesn't get the double speed that's okay this one it is a six star attack percentage so we're hoping for speed rolls here it did roll once into speed i'm going to go ahead and roll it again and it rolls again into speed which is honestly kind of tempting to take it to 16 so we will just because this set okay nice this set is super super valuable so i will take the triple roll into speed there kind of a trash piece here uh, potentially okay piece here. We got speed, crit rate, and attack percentage on a helmet. It is five star though. We do roll well though. Okay, we're rolling very, very well actually. I don't think that's worthy of taking to 16, but we will keep it. This piece right here is literally fucking god tier. <laughs> the only exception being that these are low rolls, right? But we're just going to roll this bad boy straight to 16 and see what we get. Okay, okay, decent rolls. We dodged the attack there, um, but you know what? I will take that. That's pretty decent. That's going to be a decent piece that I'd probably get some use out of. This one, unfortunately, not quite as much, although we do roll fairly well here. We got a 1-1-1, one, one, and one, though. That's going to be a sell. This one I'm going to take to 8, looking for crit rate and attack rolls. Obviously, we get both. 12 takes us to another one. I think that's going to be a keep, honestly. Uh, 
This one's probably a sell. There's no stats on there that I'm really looking for. Crit rate credit. This one's another very good piece that's going straight to 16 because it has all high rolls as well. It's okay. It would have been good if this was like speed or something like this here for the last roll, but uh, you know what? It is merciless. I do need more pieces from the set. I'm not going to complain too, too much. This is rolling well so far. Okay, I'll keep it. I'll keep it. I'll let it slide. Uh, this one here, not really interested in it. This one here, it's 5 star, low roll speed, resistance for 8. The only thing I might get out of this one is a good triple roll, in which case I can re-roll it, but that doesn't happen. Crit rate, resistance with attack substats and a speed substat, though I might be able to get use out of this for even like faction wars or something like that, so I will roll it. We double it into speed, which is quite nice. I'm going to sell these pieces so far. Speed, crit damage, accuracy, this could be a decent piece, not looking like it though, so it's a 1-1-1. One, one, and one. Unfortunately not going to be good enough, I don't think. I won't, I won't end up using that on a champion. It doesn't have enough speed to make a difference, so uh, this one's a sell as well. I'm going to keep the zeal and the impulse set because uh, I need to equip champions with it, so uh, make sure you guys are very cautious about the... Oh, I just got to pop my neck a little bit there. This is actually not a bad piece either, considering that this is attack. Kind of a terrible piece now, but that's okay. Uh, but yeah, be careful with these, essentially, with the Marius missions. Just make sure that you know how many pieces you're going to need and that you have the requirements met in terms of equipping champions with it and whatnot. Uh, I did get another very potentially good piece here that will take the 12 as well. Basically just looking to dodge the resistance rolls, which we do quite well. I'm going to go ahead and take this one to 16. Boom, double attack, double crit rate, crit damage on their resistance. The only thing that would make that really better, again, is if this was speed or accuracy, honestly. That would be a, a goaded piece. That would be goaded with the sauce, as the young kids are, as the young people are saying these days. Triple roll into defense percentage HP substat. This is a speed boot, though, so I will go ahead and keep it, even though it is only a 5-star. I definitely need speed boots. This one has trash substats, not interested in keeping it. Accuracy is not a set that I could justify myself uh, using Chaos Ore on either, so uh, not really interested in keeping that piece or re-rolling it or anything like that. This piece was pretty decent. We're going to see how it rolls. We got high rolls on basically everything, doubled into attack here. Curse set is very decent as well. This is speed. No, this is HP. All right. Decent piece, decent. A little bit of survivability is never a bad thing. This could honestly be really good on somebody like an Eostrid Dream Song of all people, so <laughs> I will end up keeping it. I'm scrolling through here just checking to see if there's any easy pickings pieces that I have not upgraded yet. Uh, my Merciless, I really need to go through and give a proper cleanse at some point. This one I was holding on to because I might be able to use this for like a reviver or something like that in Faction Wars, and it does roll relatively well. That one I am going to sell though, not really interested in it. This one is also trash, but we'll roll it and see if we can get like a triple. We don't, so that's going to be a sell. Accuracy, that one's also pretty bad. Five star Relentless at this point in the game. I can't really justify myself re-rolling these either. Uh, there's just so many higher stat priority sets that I want to go with. Uh, I live, this is a little bit off, off topic, but I live in a very, very humid area. Um, and my mouse has like little zones on it that are just like really, or my mouse pad, I should say, has like zones on it that are really... Uh, uh, <laughs> sticky, so to speak, and it is absolutely nasty because the humidity basically just congregates on the mouse pad, and it's very annoying when I'm hitting certain areas, and it's like harder to move, so it's inconsistent, you know what I mean? A little bit of a first world problem there. Hope you guys enjoyed my story. Retaliation is a good set. A uh, little spoiler alert, I do have a second video coming on how to counter Armands. This one is actually going to be a legendary champion that counters him quite effectively. Uh, and so he is hopefully going to be making use of retaliation. Let me know down in the comments who you think it's going to be that I have countering Armand in the second video. The first video did absolutely fantastic. Everybody seemed to love it. There were some great comments on there uh, where people were leaving their suggestions, how they counter him, all that sort of good stuff. This one could not have rolled worse if I wanted it to. Let's go ahead and ascend and hopefully we get a good ascension. Of course we don't. I will keep those, maybe, we already have 6-star speed boots with significantly better rolls, actually, so 
you're gone. You're done. Get out of here. This one, let's take it to 12, see what we roll. Double crit rate, speed on an HP with a defense substat. That's actually a pretty okay piece. Defense ascension, nothing to write home about there. Let's see here. We got some immortal pieces to cleanse. This one is one of those pieces that's also really good because pretty much no matter how it rolls, it's going to be good. That being said, though, you're not going to see immortal. That's actually a decent piece. Um, you're not going to see immortal being used on like nukers all that much, right? So it is kind of questionable if you actually want to have, uh, you know, nuke stats on it. That one rolls pretty terribly, honestly. So that one's out of here. Let's see. Everything else is rolled here. Everything's rolled here and here. I don't have really anything in these sets. Like, my arena drops just don't give me what I need. I don't know why I still have that one, honestly. This one's also pretty bad. We're actually just going to sell this one because I have some HP nukers built and it's still sitting here. So, obviously, if it was very good, it wouldn't still be sitting here. This one's actually a crazy piece. Let's go ahead and roll this up and see if we can get, like, a main stat here. Accuracy. Not the best. I would have been hoping for like an HP attack or defense percentage there, just so that I could put it on a nuker of that uh, of that affinity, obviously. Terrible. Not really worth the rework. It didn't triple roll. Let's go ahead and keep going. Uh, we are getting towards the exciting stuff because way down here somewhere, I have some of the Merciless set. I have some of the... Uh, some of the other set that I forgot the name of at the moment as well. All my lethal stuff is rolled up to at least 12, which is quite nice. I don't know if I even have good stuff in here. Speed, crit rate, and HP. Let's go ahead and roll this to 12. I don't know why it's just sitting at 8. <clears throat> Triple roll on speed. That's pretty decent. We have a few protection pieces to go over as well. I think this could be a very good piece for a tank if it goes resistance, HP, and speed. It goes accuracy and resistance. That is interesting. I think I will hold on to that, but I'm not crossing my fingers or holding my breath. This one, again, could be a very decent piece. Oh, nah. I could see myself maybe getting use out of, uh, out of this for someone like a Mithrala or something like that, but probably not. Speed, defense, crit rate, accuracy, again, could be decent for somebody like the Mithrala, I will keep it. Uh, protection set is a fairly high priority for me because it's um, only farmable, obviously, with inside the Hydra, so the amount of pieces that you get out of it are very, very low, I would say, and it does take a long time for you to actually get those pieces as well. Like, it's not like you can just farm it throughout the day or whatnot, like you're waiting to get, like, maybe one or two good pieces once a week, right? So definitely something I can be a bit more lenient on versus some of the other sets. This is rolling terribly as well. I also don't want to go bows to the wow and empty my silver coffers completely because we never know what we're going to have later on for events. Uh, and yeah, we do still have some, probably still have some uh, spider tournaments coming up for this particular fusion, but this one rolls terribly. It is a six star speed though, so I'll end up keeping it most likely. Let's see if we can get this one to triple onto something. That would be quite nice. We do! Attack with triple crit damage. That's kind of tempting to leave it as it is. In all honesty, should I rework it with my one six star mythical ore? I'm going to say probably not. If it had rolled triple here, I would definitely be keeping that. That piece might get some use on somebody at some point anyways. Uh, let's go ahead and see if I can roll this one up. Doubled in the crit damage. And speed. Not going to roll it to 16. Honestly, might be a sell. Let's see how this one rolls. I'm looking for HP or resistance here, obviously. Uh, generally, protection set you're going to be using on like your, your defensive champions. Um, because generally offensive champions aren't really placing much for buffs, right? So you want to kind of keep that in mind when you're looking at the stats and what you want. Defense with resistance and speed on it would be very good for this particular set with accuracy on there as well. Definitely going to keep that. Same kind of thing here. We're hoping for speed. It'd be nice if we got a triple. We don't, so we're going to go ahead and sell that. Just take into consideration, too, where your particular account is. I am being probably more lenient with some of the stuff than I should be. Uh, so if your account is a little bit more progressed or 
or if you're a little bit more late game, you might want to uh, sell some of the stuff that I've been keeping. Quad roll. Oh, baby. Let's go. Now, here's the question. This is a stone skin piece with crit rate and crit damage, but with a quad roll of accuracy. So I could absolutely fuck this piece if I re-roll it and it rolls into flat defense or flat HP or something like that. But I could also make this fantastic if it goes like HP, resistance, speed, defense, right? We can't have defense. It's a weapon. Ah, uh, I don't know. I think I think I'll wait. Cause that's almost fifty accuracy on one goddamn piece. Like that's insane for a five star piece of gear. So I will I will keep it for now. Let's go ahead and see. Okay, resistance and speed, exactly what I'm looking for inside stone skin. There we go. Good resistance rolls as well. We will keep it. This one, we're going to see if we can roll it up. Maybe a triple. Maybe. Oh, not quite. All right, mister, you're out of here. So close, yet so far. Let's go ahead and roll this to 12. Boom. We got a double and a single. Not really interested in those. Crit rate, speed, crit damage. We're going to roll this all the way to 16 to start. Boom, there we go. So that might actually make its way onto an HP nuker, uh, especially if I'm trying to build them out in stone skin. That's pretty much the exact stats that you'd want to see, obviously. This one could be very good if it goes speed and accuracy, which it dodges on both rolls, so that's awesome. I wish that you could get like a rare chance of receiving like stone skin materials or something like that when you're farming the dungeons, let's say. Uh, or maybe even Doom Tower bosses or something like that, right? And then you could use those materials to come and make yourself some stone skin pieces at the forge. This is a good piece as well. Only a five star, some low rolls on there, but what do you do? Another 16 worthy candidate here. This is another perfect piece. This is absolutely insane. I'm going to be able to build out some stone skin people for maybe uh, Tag Team Arena or something like Faction Wars or something like that because those are two very, very good pieces there. Let's see if this triples. Fingers crossed on the triple. It does not. That's going to be a sell. Do, 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 do. This one could be decent as well if it rolls here and here, but it dodges that, so that's probably going to be a sell. Uh, so let's go ahead and sell this real quick, actually. Boom, 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 boom. Accuracy and crit rate. We'll give it one more roll. And it just won one and one, so that's like the worst that it could. What is this? A pretty meh piece, honestly, so we're going to get rid of that. Uh, okay, so this could be bad, but let's see if we can get... Oh, we can't. I was hoping for like a quad or something there on the mythical piece. That would have been quite nice. Let's see what we get here. Okay, let's see if we can get like a... Maybe a double at least onto the mythical slot. Nope. That's going to be a sell, honestly. It would be different if it had a resistance substat on there as well or something like that. This could be a good piece here too. Double speed, single accuracy. I'll keep it for the time being. I could always use more of that. Let's go ahead and roll this up. It goes one and one. I'm not really interested in that. It doesn't have good enough stats to make it onto like a nuker or something like that. So I can't really... Um, you know, waste my time with it. A double into crit rate, accuracy, and speed. That could be decent for some sort of a bomber, so I will keep that. We've got a bunch of gauntlets to level up here too, including some crit damage gauntlets. Both into attack, let's see if we can continue that. I will go to 16 and hope that we get like a... a oh. I was hoping that we'd get a triple or something like that. Let's give this the one last chance for redemption crit rate or crit damage on the ascension. It is not. That piece just really wanted to give us some flat stat um, attack, didn't it? If you're being a little bit more harsh on the pieces, you probably should not have rolled that one either, by the way. Just a future reference uh, for anyone who might be curious. This one's definitely a sell. No need to take it further. We got speed, crit rate, resistance, and accuracy on this. That is pretty decent. We'll go ahead and take this one to 16 as well, see what it rolls. It rolls accuracy once again. Ascension of HP... I don't really see this making it on to anyone, in all honesty, because accuracy and speed split roll, that'll be good for maybe like a 
Oh, the main stat kind of screws it, though, because if it was, like, an HP main stat or something like that, I could put it on, like, a Mithrala, but nope. Alright, so that's one, one, and one. That's going to be a cell. Great, great. We're going to roll this to eight, just since that's pretty trash substats. We do get a double, though. Let's see if we can get a triple. No, that's going to be a cell. What do we got here? HP. We're going to roll this to eight again, see if we get a double. We do. Okay. Okay, I could technically rework it with like a 5 star, but it is a rare... Sorry, a 6 star? Yeah, no, we're definitely not working that. Let's see how this goes. Speed, double crit rate, defense, main stat. I will be keeping that. This one's pretty trash. This one could be okay for, you know, lower end arena or something like that. Decent. Okay, we'll keep that, we'll keep that. This one's a sell, though. Attack and crit rate. Let's roll this to an 8 at least and see what we can get. Double roll. Let's see if we can triple. Nope. So that's going to be a sell. I'm not being overly exhaustive here either. I'm just simply trying to, uh, you know, get through some pieces so that I get the artifact enhancement points. I'm not really trying to clear out gear space or anything like that at this point. Uh, that being said, the RSL helper does have the pretty useful function where you can import like cell commands and stuff like that and then just run them on your gear. So I actually used that recently to clear out like 800 pieces or something crazy like that. If you guys are interested in a guide on how to do that or watching me do that or me set, uh, like sharing my uh, my configurations for the RSL helper definitely let me know. Uh, I do have channel members active now as well since I've hit the 1000 subscriber mark and thank you guys all so much for that but channel memberships are active so if you guys want to get in on that make sure that you go ahead and hit the join button down below. Uh, you'll get some perks obviously so at some points I am going to upload videos that go live for maybe like an entire day or something like that for members only first. Uh, and then at some point further on down the line, once I have enough members as well, I probably will make members only videos. So make sure you get in on the ground zero of that. And of course, I'll have like a, a shout out for all of the members at the end of each video too. So if you want to see your name up on the screen, that could be, could be pretty cool. Plus, you're helping to support a mediocre Raid Shadow Legends content creator. So that's always much enjoyed, right? Uh, let's go ahead and see if these hit something good on the Ascension. They hit flat HP. I'm probably going to sell this because I don't see anyone really benefiting from that. Not really cleansing kill stroke at all. Let's see if we can, though. This could be decent for an HP nuker, depending on what it rolls. I wish that went speed instead of accuracy, but we will keep it. Crit damage speed, crit rate, and attack on this. Let's see if we can get some rolls into that. We can. Do we get... We do. Okay, we'll keep that. That one's a cell. That one's also a cell. I don't know why I still have it. That one could be a very decent piece, actually. It hits double HP, though. That's not really going to make it anywhere. If it had hit, like, double crit rate or something, that would have been pretty cool. I have diddly squat for instincts, by the way. I don't think I purchased that particular battle pass or forge pass, whatever you want to call it at this point. Don't have much for righteous either, unfortunately. Uh, I was actually going through my free-to-play, and apparently I have a lot of righteous gear on there, oddly enough. But supersonic, we're pretty much just looking for speed rolls here. I will keep this since it's a high-ish speed roll. Go ahead and roll this as well. We're hoping for either speed or a triple. We get neither, so we're going to sell it. It is a five-star piece after all as well, so nothing too, too crazy by any means. I have a lot of shields here, so let's start cleansing, shall we? What we're looking for here, like I mentioned, is kind of just, you know, speed rolls or triples that we can rework. We get a double roll on speed, accuracy, and crit rate on this piece, though, so I will keep it. We'll roll this one to eight, see if we can get a double. We do not. That's going to be a sell. <sighs> Speed. Let's see. Same thing. We get a double. Let's see if we can get a triple. We do not. That is probably going to be a sell, even though that would be a decent piece for some sort of like a like a debuffer or something like that, because it did have speed on it. Let's see, same thing. Do we get a triple? We do not. That one's definitely going to be a sell. 
Uh, this is very similar for cleansing, by the way, as something like the speed set, because uh, essentially supersonic, you definitely want to have, ooh, okay, you definitely want to have speed substats on it. So, um, you know, this could still be very good as well, because with a glyph, we can actually hit a plus eight on it. So at the very least, I could get use out of that in maybe say like, for example, Tag Team Arena, uh, or I could get use out of that somewhere like uh, maybe Faction Wars, for example. That's a decent speed piece, of course. Supersonic, if you're not familiar with the set, basically what it does is it gives you a little bit of turn meter uh, anytime there is a buff place. So fills this champion's turn meter by 2% per each buff on each enemy. Now it doesn't actually say it, but basically what happens is when they receive a buff, you get a turn meter increase. So it's not like it's, you know, just filling it faster or anything like that. So it is actually a very, very good set for cutting in. Uh, there's very few ways that you can do that in raid, but this set ultimately is one of them. So we can afford to be a little bit more lenient on it. Except for pieces like that. That piece was trash. I'm very disappointed. Let's go ahead and see if we can get a, a good roll here. It'd be pretty crazy if we got some rolls into the accuracy. Nope. Nothing. I'm not necessarily stressed about having accuracy on it, but if we got, like, obviously a double or a triple into the accuracy there, we could have re-rolled it and hoped for speed. I'm going to go ahead and roll this up one more. And it goes 1 1 1, so we're definitely not going to keep that. That is a low roll on the speed as well. Let's see how this goes. Ugh. Low rolls galore, so we're not interested. This one has a speed substat, which is kind of nice. High roll there. And a double into speed. We will keep that. This one could be decent as well. Uh, defense, nah, not really. Not feeling it. Let's see, this one also has a speed roll. We got a double. No triple, though, unfortunately. That is a decent piece, so I will keep it. This one's going straight to 16, because really, no matter what it rolls, I can get use out of it. That is a very good piece, actually, for somebody like, um... That is a very, very, very good piece, actually, for somebody like a Taurus or something like that. Somebody that's an HP-based nuker, I could definitely get some use out of that. We're going to go until I hit about maybe 15 mil at the least. Just because, like I say, I don't want to uh, you know, completely screw myself. I'm actually going to keep that piece, oddly enough, because it does have speed on it. This one can go straight to 16. Very decent substats here. Uh, definitely not what I was looking for, but I will keep it. This one, we're going to see if we get either a triple or some roll into speed. We do get a roll into speed. Let's see if we hit it again. We do not. He's gone. Bye-bye. <clears throat> got here. We got attack and crit rate. Let's see. What does 12 get us? HP, flat stat. No, thank you. Let's see, we got this, which could be a decent piece if it rolls well, it dodges it completely, love to see it. HP with double accuracy though, that could be useful on somebody like an Armand or something like that, so we will oddly enough keep it for now. Dodging decent rolls there, not really interested. Attack, crit rate, this one has speed as a substat, let's roll it. Resistance, double roll. Attack. Let's see what we get as an ascension. Defense. I'm going to keep that. That's a, that's a decent piece for like a tank or something like that. I don't know why I have this one. This one's terrible. Defense. Crit rate. Same thing here. We're hoping for, you know, good rolls. It did not happen though, unfortunately. So we will sell that. Ugh. Terrible rolls on that piece as well. It's like the only six-star boot I have, too, so I was hoping for something better. But what do you do? This one's actually pretty decent. Let's see what we get as an ascension. Defense percentage. All right, let's see. Let's roll this up. Okay, doubling the speed so far. Aw, oh, not quite a triple, but that is a decent piece. We'll keep it. Let's upgrade this. I also have taken the liberty of uh, getting Ghost of Tsushima. Ooh, okay. 
Let's see if we can get a quad. Even if not, I'm probably going to reroll this because if that turns out to be like speed or something like that. Uh, but yeah, I've gotten Ghost of Tsushima, so I'm going to be playing that. You're probably going to see some content popping up about it. That is terrible, by the way. Disgusting. I'm probably mainly just going to make it into shorts or something of that nature. Um, for long form content on my channel these days, I've been trying to keep it mainly raid related because YouTube seemed to be struggling figuring out who to recommend my videos to when I was just kind of uploading stuff willy nilly. Uh, I do definitely want to do some more game reviews though. I don't know if I'm just going to split off and have like a second channel for that or something or if I want to, you know, risk it for the biscuit once in a while and upload them to my main channel here. We'll see. Especially now that I just hit a thousand subs, it's very motivating to keep going with this and just see uh, how far I can take it, essentially. Got speed and accuracy here, along with HP. We got a 1-1-1, one, 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 though. We're going to sell that. Merciless here, in case you're curious, you're basically just looking for your damage-dealing pieces. Uh, so any sort of rolls into crit rate, crit damage, those sorts of things. I definitely don't have the best account to go off of, though, so don't mind me. This one has a decent roll of speed on it. We get a double, so we're going to go ahead and roll a 12, see if we get a triple, which we do. So we're going to rework it. Let's see what we get. Crit rate, crit damage, speed. Oh. Oh. Not really what you would look for on a merciless piece, in all honesty, but sometimes beggars can't be choosers, I suppose. This hits accuracy double onto crit damage with a primary of 6 star speed. I'll take that. Let's go ahead and ascend as well. We hit attack percentage. Okay, that's a relatively decent boot. I can make some use out of that. Uh, that being said, Merciless, I'm probably not really looking to reroll any of the 5 star epic pieces. So we'll just go ahead and sell them. This one somehow dodges where we wanted it to roll. Defense is looking good. Defense and crit damage. We're looking for like speed and crit damage there, but it doesn't roll it sadly, so that's gonna be a sell. This one could be very decent. The only thing that would make it better is if we had speed substat, but we completely dodge where we want to roll somehow. Lovely. This is attack. We're really looking for like a quad into speed here, otherwise, it's gonna be a sell. Just because it is five star, so the main stats aren't even that strong. We got a double there so far. Let's see if we can get a triple and go for the reroll. We cannot. That's going to be a sell. This one could be decent. HP, main stats, speed, resistance. Let's see what we get here. Double into resistance. I'm going to keep it. Not necessarily a piece you'd put on a damage dealer by any means, but hey, it is what it is. We're going to go ahead and sell that. Rolls pretty terribly. Let's see. This one, this is a 5 star rare, I don't know why I still have this actually, it's definitely going to be a sell. Uh, for rares, I'm really just looking like uh, 6 star bottom pieces, so uh, rare pieces are definitely more valuable if they're on the bottom because you're not necessarily worried so much about the substats. Uh, 5 star rare pieces for the top are absolutely terrible because you only get 2 slots to roll on, uh, and then those stats could obviously be trash right so double into crit rate probably going to end up keeping it just because again beggars can't be choosers this is going to be a sell though uh so merciless set is mainly coming from the city of centranos which uh even if you're only farming normal city of centranos it is actually still possible to get six star pieces and everything like that from the soul cross section so uh, it can be a very very decent way to farm it um, obviously your chances of like mythical and stuff like that on those six star pieces are significantly lower also if you're beating amius himself it is uh pretty pretty good chances that you'll get some good gear speaking of amius i was reminded of the animus which reminds me that i just seen that there's a new trailer out for the next assassin's creed which apparently is going to be finally set inside japan uh so we basically get to play as a ninja which i think is pretty pretty cool so i'm probably going to be following along with that I'm going to see if anyone that I trust for reviewers plays it, see what their opinions are on it, and kind of go from there. Let's see what we got here. Crit rate, accuracy, attack. We'll go ahead and roll this again. It doubles into attack and into crit rate. That's exactly what we want to see. This one, 
We're going to take it to 12 just because hypothetically, yeah, no, that's a decent enough piece. I won't take it to 16 though, just because my silver is kind of getting down to that stage where I wasn't too happy with it. Uh, so we'll go ahead and sell that, sell that. So let's go ahead and roll this to 8, see what it hits. Definitely hits where we want it to. And it doubles into speed, we will go ahead and keep it. That one's trash, trash. So we'll sell these two. Crit damage, HP, accuracy, speed. Let's see what we can do here. Yikes. Could have saved my silver. That's got attack and crit weight with both good rolls. But of course it goes into resistance, because why wouldn't it? It's exactly what we want to see. That being said, though, let's check and see if we have passed our requirements for this particular event. We have, and we've reached the 15 million threshold that I mentioned. So I'm going to go ahead and just collect all this and enjoy my juicy rewards. Thank you guys all so, so much for watching, of course. Uh, make sure to like the video if you did. It helps out the YouTube algorithm and it helps it figure out who should uh, get this video recommended to them. So uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.